Hi everyone and welcome to Billy Fitzgerald Golf and today I want to discuss probably the most important thing that you can work on and maintain every day. It's something I check every day and that's the grip. This is going to be a two-part series. The first one is going to be on your your lead hand, lead arm and the second video is going to be on your your trail arm, uh, trail hand. So before we get into the grip what I want to make sure is we know what we're working with. In other words what do we think that the swing arc or the golf club does during the golf motion or golf swing motion? That's a very important part to how you grip the club. Um, I think there's a couple ways to do it. I think, in my opinion, one is easier, a little bit more simpler um, than the other. So let's, let's dive right in. So here I've got my golf ball. I've got my target line. And this is called my plane line. In other words, we're on a tilted circle when we swing. Because we're not straight on top of the golf ball, we're several inches away from the golf ball, the golf club is angled. That means that our motion is going to basically be a big circular angled motion. So if I had a, uh, a big giant circle um, and I had it tilted, that's what it would look like. That would be my swing circle and what that, what that looks like. So as far as what the golf club does, this is the very important part of kind of the picture that you're trying to get. When I set up to the golf, golf ball, the golf club is 90 degrees to my swing arc, okay? So as I swing back, if I was going to hit a perfect shot, the golf club would be 90 degrees all the way up. So when it got about halfway back, my spine angle is going to match the leading edge of this golf club because it's 90 degrees to my swing arc. And again, on the way through, over here, it's going to be 90 degrees to my swing arc. So again, if I was going to hit a perfect shot, I would be right on that swing circle and this golf club would work 90 degrees to that. Now, some people teach or some people work on having the golf club here on the way back and on the way down and toe, toe up on the, way, on the way over here as well. So toe up on the back swing and on the way down and toe up. So they would call that a release. Some people would call that a release. Uh, I think that's a little bit too much face rotation for what we're trying to do. I would rather feel like the golf club is square on the way down so we get this position on the way down so we can just run the face into the golf ball and then 90 degrees over here. So there's not so much timing. Now, can you play with that much face rotation? Yes, you can, but your grip has to match that swing circle and that much face rotation. So what I'm going to talk about is a little bit more of a stable golf club. There is a little bit of rotation, but it's much more stable. It's not toe up to toe up. It's more, again, matches my spine angle over here. We get into impact, matches my spine angle over there. There's a lot less twisting of the face. So that's the road we're going to kind of adventure and go down for these next two videos and, and how the grip and what grip works and relates to that and why. So as I start with my left hand, how it goes on the golf club. Well, here's what's going to happen. If I have a weighted club, I get a weighted club here and I take my grip. The reason we're going to put your left hand on the club, one of the reasons why we put your left hand on the club is I swing down, this, the weight in this club is going to straighten my arm, okay? So I need to make sure that my hand is on the club properly so the face squares. So as the golf club comes down, it straightens my arm out and my hand is going to square the face, okay? So how do we get that? What does that look like? Well, if I take my arms and I just let them hang. You can see how my left arm hangs down. So my left hand, how it hangs inward, is going to match how it works on the golf club and how it's placed on the club because that is an actual neutral position for my arm because that's how it, it lines up. So when my arm straightens out and these joints line up, they're going to line up with my hand. So this hand needs to to look like that so it squares the face. If my hand is like this on the golf club and my joints get pulled, see the face is going to be open. So my hand's got to be strong enough to work the face square into the ball. Now what does that look like when we 
when we grip onto it? Well, it's on the other side of these knuckles. And that's where I want the golf club to rest in those fingers right there. So again, rest in those fingers right there. The golf club is going to be uh, 90 degrees to my swing arc, or it's going to be flush with the shaft. So yes, this, the toe is slightly open because the face of the club is not on the ball yet. So it's going to go right in my fingers. I'm going to grab onto them with my fingers like a suitcase here. And then my left hand wraps around or on top of the grip. So I don't want any of the grip when I'm holding on to it in my palm. The way to check that, again, if I get it in my fingers, get it right on top, twist my hand over, open my hand up, you can see that that grip is in my fingers. So too many, too many times I get people that have a strong grip, but they place it in the palm of their hand, okay? If it's in the palm of my hand, this lever, which is very important to the golf swing, cannot work. So my lever cannot work if it's in the palm. It's gotta be in the fingers. So that's the, the first reason that I want my hand over here is that when, again, the weight of the club pulls on my arm, everything lines up. So the, as the face is square, you can see how my, my hand hangs in its arm socket, all my joints line up. Reason number two why I want my hand in that position is that if I were going to hit a baseball, okay, and I took a baseball bat and I'm going to hit a baseball, the strongest point or impact part in my hand is going to be this lever right here. So the same lever that you use to hit a baseball is the exact same way you're going to hit a golf shot. So I would never try to hit a baseball with my hand being bowed out this way, okay? That's a good way to injure your tendons and your wrist right here because the ball, I'm not sure my wrist could survive the impact of the ball. From here, yes, it could. It's the same thing in golf. We have an impact coming in. So as I get my hand in here, as I'm coming into impact, I feel very strong of where this left hand is. So you can get it face on as I'm coming into the ball. So my hand has a lot of structure, a lot of strength, and it can absorb that impact. The next thing that I wanna talk about the lead arm and why it's, it's a little bit better to have it in, in the fingers and get it a little bit, as some people would, would say, stronger, is that people that are notorious for taking it inside and open. So the face goes way inside and open. And what I mean by that, it goes under this yellow line and the face gets open. Their grip gets, again in my opinion, gets a little weak here. So now if my hand is on the club like this, it's hard for me to get my wrist to go because it's so much in the palm of my hand that my wrist doesn't work like this. It doesn't want to work and it's certainly, this isn't going to do anything for me. So what's the next thing that's got to happen? Well, I've got to roll the face open to get my golf swing started and get the face, just to get the face working. So already I've got it, you know, inside and over the top, or sorry, inside and the face is open. And so likely I'm gonna have to be able to come over the top because my hand is not in a position to be able to absorb that impact. So there's, you know, a lot of things, a lot of benefits to having, which I guess the industry would call a strong grip or more in the fingers and then over. It's gonna be able to withstand a lot of impact. It's gonna be much easier to square the face and it's gonna be much easier to get the club face going back and through with minimal face rotation. So it's gonna be much easier to hit it straight. So I would encourage you to try this, try the, the left hand a little bit over. You know, our industry has said, you know, palms facing each other, that's neutral but you have to look at the dynamics and how the body works. You have to look at how your, your arms and your joints line up and how your hands are working. What's, what's happening with the face? Is, it, is your grip benefiting you and what you want to do with your golf game? So I hope this helps with your, the front arm, the lead arm. Um, stay right there. We're gonna, get, we're gonna get right into the trail arm and how it should go on the golf club. Like and subscribe to my channel, Billy Fitzgerald Golf.
Want to take a live lesson from me or you have a question? Visit me at BillyFitzgeraldGolf.com and thanks for watching.